League One predictions, round 11. Coventry City versus Doncaster Rovers or Doncaster Bells? Okay, everybody, and welcome back to Very Biased Opinions in association with Grandstand Betters. Thank you all for tuning in. Thank you all for clicking like and subscribe. Please, if you get a chance, please click like. Please click subscribe. Please click on the bell so you get notifications from us. If you want to win money and you're sick of winning money off our predictions, go to Grandstand Betters. They're actually paid to do it. Ian. Did we draw three all last week in predictions? We did have a tie break that we need to sort out, but I just want to say very quickly, fuck my life when it comes to League One predictions, man. What do I have to do to beat a guy who's got no clue about any of these teams that thinks Bristol Rovers are named after a car factory? They are named after a car factory. <laughs> that thinks Doncaster Bell is the same as Doncaster Rovers. I don't hear the difference. And a guy that thinks Oxford United are not very good. That that would just be any sane human being, right? Yeah, we do have a tiebreaker to settle from a couple of games back. It is currently 6-2 to Thomas, but are we going to do rock, paper, scissors again? Yeah. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors. You, what have you done? Have you done paper? <laughs> I lose every box. time. I, th- I, th- I, th- I think that I've um, I think I've got two results on tiebreakers. I think I should be like eight one down. I will ch- yeah. on our predictions. I will change that from a two to a three. And while I'm doing that, Thomas Pickering, why don't you lead us in with the first game? Blackpool versus Lincoln City. So, for those of you that don't know, Lincoln City lost six nil to Oxford United last weekend. I went to the game. Uh, you can co- you can look at my what I thought of it up in the top corner. Lincoln were not very good. Uh, they definitely are struggling now. Danny Cowley left them. Now turncoat Danny Cowley has left them. The guy who stabbed him in the back. Although Michael Appleton is there to pick up the pieces, it will take him time. Sorry, Lincoln fans, you're going to lose again. I see it's been 2-0 to Blackpool. Lincoln are a garbage football team and a garbage place to live. We've all known this to be fact. Now this is just corroborating what we've all known. Lincoln are going to lose again here to Blackpool. 2-0 to the Tangerines. One quick thing before we move on. At 6-0 down, I must say the Lincoln fans were still absolutely incredible. They didn't leave. They stuck behind their team and they were still chanting. They didn't leave. They've got nowhere to go. They live in Lincoln. This is the only thing on all weekend. If that was Oxford, that would be an abandoned three-sided ground, my friend. Worst fans on earth. Agreeable. Agreeable. Bristol Rovers versus Rotherham United. Well, the Bristol Rovers car factory is now in full full automation mode they're coming out 400 cars a day reeling them off the shop floor making an absolute killing whereas rotherham have nothing going on in our boring city in a boring club therefore bristol rovers car factory to win this one two nil oh are you finished yeah i'm done rotherham a pretty good form one one and now the featured match country city versus doncaster bells rovers that's unbeaten coventry city tom how dare you forget that but Doncaster have been impressive as well. They've certainly been getting better every single week. Um, is it Doncaster Rovers or Doncaster Bells, Tom? Bells. Coventry, yet yeah, St. Andrews hasn't affected them at all. They've been excellent. Mark Robbins is doing a fantastic job. Um, I I think they're going to win this one as well. Um, I think they've had a couple of draws lately. Yeah, they'll get back to winning ways with a 2-1 win. Yeah, I'm going to have to corroborate that score. Sky Blues to beat the Bells, 2-1. From one unbeaten side to another, Ipswich Town versus Tranmere Rovers. Oh, Tranmere, you guys just can't catch a break. Just when you really need to get a result, you come up against Ipswich, top of the league. Can't see this going well for you boys. 3-0 to Ipswich Town. Yeah, Ipswich look really solid. Uh, Again, I'm going to go 2-0 Ipswich. Peterborough United versus AFC Wimbledon. Thomas, Peterborough have not been the force they were a few games ago. They, they, they won a game, I think, 6-1, and since then they've had a couple of not-so-great results. Who are you, who you going to think is going to score the goals to get them back into winning well, I ways? I suspect Ivan Tony is going to score a hat-trick in this game because Ivan Tony is always up for scoring a hat-trick, and I think the scoreline is going to be 3-0. Well, nobody likes AFC Wimbledon, least of all me, so let's hope Peterborough back to winning ways with a spanking win. 4-0 to the posh. Portsmouth versus New Bolton. 
Ah, NB MBW. I'm very excited by MBW. Uh, Portsmouth, I think it's time to admit that their favorites tag is probably probably dragging them down a little bit. They're not they're not running with it. And Bolton aren't a great team to play right now because they're kind of finding their feet and there's no pressure because they're going down no matter what. I've got Portsmouth to win this game. I've got Portsmouth to win it 2-1, but honestly, it could go either way. Bolton players are playing a lot better now. There definitely is um, a renewed energy around uh, the University of Bolton Stadium, we should say, as its official title. They should have beaten Oxford. They should have beaten Sunderland. And I'm getting backing them to get their first win of the season here. It's going to be Pompey 1, Bolton 2. Hi everyone, it's Ian here. Hope you're enjoying the video so far. Please support our channel by giving this video a big old like. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe and hit that notify bell so you don't miss out on any of the videos. Please also check out our social media. Tom works incredibly hard on this. I must admit I don't do anything. So please go and check us out on those platforms. And also check out Grandstand Betters. We're super excited to be working with these guys. They're an exceptional tipster website. Are they as good as us? Yes, without question. Go and check them out. And without further ado, let's get back to the good stuff. Ian's two favorite clubs, Rochdale versus Wickham Wanderers. So Ian, on a list of things I would rather do than watch this game, pouring bleach in my eyes would be on the top of it. But the bleach is strawberry flavored and fills you with love and happiness, right? I couldn't think, honestly think of a worse game to go to than Rochdale versus Wickham. I can't stand either of these sides. As much as you keep saying it, stop saying it. I do not like Rochdale. The only reason I'm going to back them this week is because I hate Wickham even more. Although, little um, parentheses... Joking Wickham fans, you don't have to give us quite as much shit in the comments. Rochdale to win, 2-1. Yet again, Ian predicts his favourite club, Rochdale, to win a football match. Shock, horror, I'm honestly stunned by this. I've got Wickham to win this game, 2-1. I can't believe you're backing Wickham. Someone's got to do it. Bloomsbury Town versus the Harbinger of Criminals, Fleetwood Town. I hate Fleetwood Town. There's really not a whole lot more to say on that. So I'm just going to go Shrewsbury 1-0. They're, they're a tough side to play against these bunch of uh, criminals or wanted criminals. Um, but let's hope Shrewsbury do what they're supposed to be doing and doing a lot better. That's why I predicted and they keep letting me down. So come on, you shrews or you shrews. Let's get a win. 1-0. Excellent. South End United versus Accrington Stanley. Both these sides haven't been great, but South End have got some interesting news. Not only did they win their first game of the season at the weekend, but Henrik Larsson looks like he's going to be their manager or may have well already taken over. I don't know. Random as hell. About as random as Edgar Davids managing Barnet back in the day. So I think South End will make this two wins in a row. I think they're going to win 2-1. Yeah, South End United are terrible. Accrington and Stanley are only mildly better than that. I've got Stanley to win this. No, you know what I've got? I've got a nil-nil draw. Sunderland versus the Milton Keynes Dons. Yeah, I mean, MK Dons are garbage, but Sunderland seem to refuse to beat teams. They seem to be obsessed with Ian's favorite result of a one all draw. I'm going to predict Sunderland to win this 2-0. But I think I know what Ian's going to say, and it's hard to look past it. Just, it's just 1-1. One, one. It's got 1-1 one, one written all over it. It's got Milton Keynes Dance taking the lead and Sunderland having to scramble their way back into it, maybe with a lucky penalty. All right, Ian, lead us in. Let's forget every other game in League One because they're all meaningless. Because it's time for the main event. Oxford United versus Gillingham FC. Not really too much to say about this one. I'm sorry if I'm a bit understated, but I went to Oxford Lincoln last weekend. It wasn't a great result. They didn't do too well. Oh, no, wait, they did. They won 6-0. The biggest ever league away win in Oxford's history. And I was there to see it. It was the most surreal performance ever, Thomas. I don't think I've ever seen a game where everything just went completely, perfectly right for Oxford all in one game. I think we only had seven shots. We scored six of them. This just proves that Carl Robinson is the man machine. He's a savant. He's the king manager out there. He's even better than King Ralph. This is going to be another win for Oxford. Let's make it three wins out of four. 3-1 to the U's. 
Oxford are garbage. No one likes them. That was a lucky result and a complete fucking aberration. Gillingham to win 2 0. Okay, folks, that will do it for League One Predictions Round 11. I hope you liked the video. Uh, please give us loads of comments like you always do. We love reading every one of them, even when you give us personal abuse. Um, please give us a like. Please subscribe to the channel and please click the notify bell. And also check out Grandstand Betters. They are a fantastic tip to the website. If you haven't gone over there already, what the hell are you doing? And Thomas, lead us out. Talking with detailed football analysis. Probably in the wrong place.